I am so glad that I opened that stream of income at Amazon because it's actually making me some money. Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. Hey guys, Barbara here from The Bear Pantry Show that can be seen on YouTube and Facebook and also from BearPantryShow.com. So what I want to do in this video, I want to string together three of my reviews that I've done for Amazon so that you guys can see what I've been reviewing. So let's start first of all with Bee Loves Smackalicious Sauce. If you've checked out any of my other review videos here on Amazon, you may have heard me say that I am Barbara from The Bear Pantry Show that can be seen on YouTube and Facebook. I'm a content creator and my content is food related. So today I wanted to try another content creator's product that she sells right here on Amazon. Today we're going to be trying Bee Loves Life Smackalicious Sauce Mix and this is the garlic flavor, all right? So full disclosure, I've tried the other flavor before. My cousin Debbie made a seafood boil. Isn't that the way Bee Love says it? And she invited her sister Cindy and you know my husband and my children and we all sat down as a big family and we ate, oh my goodness, until we wanted to burst and the sauce was delicious. So that's why I wanted to try this one because it's brand new and it's the garlic flavored. So I think my kids are gonna love this. So let's go into the kitchen. All right, so you tear the top and be careful because it's powder. So you might get a plume over you if you're not careful, okay? So right off the bat, you can see that there's quite a bit in the packaging. It's the 4.5 ounce. <coughs> it is strong. <coughs> Note to self, do not inhale the spices, right? So we're gonna need two sticks of butter, one small onion thinly sliced, it calls for a lot of minced garlic, but I'm going to use the amount I want to use. Some pickled ginger that you can pick up right here at my Amazon store. The spice package, of course. Some chicken broth, distilled white vinegar, and some Sprite. So let's go ahead and get the Sprite open. You guys, you know what? A couple years ago at VidCon, I met Bee Loves and her family, and she was just delightful, but I don't think she'll remember me. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead over to the stove, light the fire, put the butter in, put all the other chopped up vegetables the vinegar, the broth, give it a stir so that the onions can become tender. Then put the package in very carefully. Do not inhale, guys. All right? Cook it until it's reduced and cut the fire off. And then now I'm going to measure out to see how much I get. Look how thick it is. Now let's taste. According to the instructions, I made the sauce yesterday and reheated it today and then separated it into two different bowls because I wanted to get a serving size because on the package it says it serves five. So four point something ounce is a serving size. And I'm gonna go ahead and taste with some boiled shrimp, some little baby shrimp. Um, I took a long time to put the spice in the pot when I was cooking the sauce too, because it was so spicy that I was afraid it was gonna get into the atmosphere and tickle all of our noses and cause us to sneeze while we're taping, right? Okay. I expected it to be spicy, but I didn't expect it to be sweet at the same time. Let's see. Okay, it has some sugar in it. I think the salt is enough, but you know what? You do it to your specifications. Now, if you have a mild palate, I would suggest that you pick up the original um, spice from Bee Loves, okay? Because this is really spicy. It's not too spicy for me, I'm Belizean, after all. And remember, if you want to have a rocking beach body, you're not supposed to be eating any dipping sauce like if it's a beverage. Check the packaging for the serving size, all right? And remember to tell them what? Barbara from the Bear Pantry Show sent ya. So as you can see, the videos don't have to be very long. This one is one of my longer ones at three minutes, 20 something seconds, because I really wanted to cook the sauce and show the customer or tell the customer exactly what it tastes like. A lot of people have been complaining, saying that the sauce tastes like, you know, plain tomato sauce, but it does not. It's super spicy and it reminds me a lot of Indian food. All right. So the next video up is going to be this big, beautiful beach bag that Jory just bought me for my birthday. Jory is my son, by the way. So let's take a look at that video. I love coming to the beach and because it's my birthday, my son bought me this beautiful beach bag right here behind me. Hey guys, Barbara here from the Bear Panther Show that can be seen on YouTube and Facebook. Now let's take a look at this bag. It's an oversized bag with this beautiful cotton rope handle. 
The size is 22 wide by 15 tall by 6 deep, so it can hold quite a bit. So take a look inside, it has this zippered pocket that you can put a slim wallet and a couple of masks. And then this pocket right here for you to put your cell phone and maybe the slim wallet again. And then the side pockets for your water bottles. And it can hold two water bottles. And then it has this quick release thing here for you to put your keys. This is on one side of the zipper. And then on the other side we have this, a bottle opener. Yes. So now it has a zippered enclosure. Look at the handles again, they're so soft. So it also came with this thing, this waterproof thing to put your cell phone in. So a lot of things come with this bag, all right? Now, it's time to leave the beach, so let's pack up. I have my beach towel, my blanket. Well, this is the towel to spread on the sand, right? And then this is the towel to wipe off after I come out of the water. And it can actually fit another towel. And I have the paper tissue. Let me put this cell phone in here. And then I'm going to grab my sombrero. Put the elastic through the handle. And then we're ready to go home. Make sure you pick up several right here from my Amazon store. And tell them Barbara from the Bear Pantry Show sent you. So as you can see, I really love the beach. And I will even take a change of clothing to change clothes in the bathroom. So I can record segments for my show whenever I go to the beach. So now the next video is going to be the skillet that Joe, my husband, got me for my birthday. And I make a personal peach cobbler in it. So... I recently had a birthday and my husband bought this for me. You might be saying he bought her a pan. Well guys, he bought me a pan because I'm a food content creator at YouTube and Facebook. Hey guys, my name is Barbara. So I'm tired of these big pans like this. Or I have this big one fully seasoned and everything. I've got this one over here with oil in it. And I wanted a baby one because I wanted to make a small peach cobbler or fruit cobbler, okay? So let me tell you a little bit about this pan. It's a Cuisinol pre-seasoned six inch cast iron skillet. So it says hand wash only with little or no soap, never submerge your pan, dry well before storage, and do not use in a dishwasher, all right? So that's all we need to know. And what I'm gonna do now is make a cobbler. So it's not difficult to make cobbler. All you have to do is put the butter in the skillet and it's only one eighth of a cup of butter, okay? And you cook it until it's brown. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and make the batter while the butter is cooking. So the batter is easy. Quarter cup of all-purpose flour. A quarter cup of granulated white sugar. Three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder. So that's a, um, a quarter plus a half, all right? one eighth of a teaspoon of salt and then three tablespoons of milk what's that my oven saying that is up to temperature at 400 degrees Fahrenheit so as you can see it's a little bit of batter because it's a small pan a quarter cup of brown sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon let's get the batter in here cut the fire Kind of spread the butter out as best as you can. Then put the topping. Now you guys see why I want to make a small one, right? Stick it in the oven for like 30 minutes and then serve warm with ice cream. This pan is perfect, guys, because it comes seasoned already and it's the perfect size for a personal peach cobbler. Remember to tell them what? Barbara from the Bear Pantry Show sent you. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the three videos that I've put together and I'm going to keep doing that with my Amazon review videos because I think it's a waste to just put them at Amazon and not put them here for you guys to see. So I have like 28 videos up already and I think I made one like this before where I put three together. I'm going to go check to see what that one was, put it here in the cards for you guys. And I'm also going to put the video where I told you that I got invited to be an influencer right up here in the card somewhere so you guys can see what the program is about. And I'm working it hard, guys, and it's actually being fruitful. So I'm so excited about this. If you like what I produce here today, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the share. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell so you can know when I upload something else. And you're going to see more videos like this coming soon, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.
Thanks for making it all the way through to the end. Please check out my primary channel that can be found right here on YouTube. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. The links are listed below. And please check out my website, bearpantryshow.com, so you can pick up a copy of one of my three cookbooks. And remember, we are not buying that cookbook that's being sold on Amazon because my distributor is ripping me off. Bye, guys. And tell them what? Joe and Barbara from The Bear Pantry Show sent you. Don't forget.